Here's a quick and fun tutorial with a little Harry Potter magic. So sit back and enjoy the tutorial. Hi everyone, this is Michelle with Purposeful Happiness and I thought I would do a quick tutorial on this watercolor sorting hat ribbon. It's very simple, only a few supplies are needed. Muslin, uh, some embossing pens, a Sharpie. I use the Tim Holtz Distress Ink. I believe it's Rusty Hinge. And then it will just require a watercolor set, very basic. And here you can see the rusty color is what I was looking for. I didn't have a stamp, so I'm using a negative image of a die cut. And here is the basic watercolor set. You can get these really anywhere, and it didn't matter what set you use. Just something with the colors that you enjoy working with. So that's what I'll use for this. And here are some of the samples I did. Here's one with an embossed stamp, and it worked really well. I just didn't have a stamp for this hoarding hat, so I'm using the die cut. So here is a wax resist crayon tracing of the hat. I didn't mind it. If you want that look, that's perfect. A larger piece of fabric would have been easier to color on. And here you see the only thing I did differently from this sample was add a Sharpie outline. So that's what we'll do. And I had a little happy accident with this muslin while using the embossing uh, or the heat gun. It got a little close and started to burn a little bit of the fabric. And you can tell the edges of this fabric really took to a bit of a burning effect. So I don't recommend this if you're not sitting right there and have a glass of water because it's still uh, heating that fabric up. Here is the piece prior to modification. So I'm going to just start right here by using this negative die cut and I'm going to use the embossing pen and trace around the outline. That's really what I was looking for is the outline because the sorting hat is an image that's fairly recognizable. So you can do this with flowers, animals, anything you have in your stash and it would work great. So I will very carefully take the pen and just follow along this outline. And my die cut doesn't fit on the ribbon all the way. That's okay, I'm okay with it hanging off. You could do a slightly larger piece, but this is what I was working with in my current journal. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep working with this piece right here. And I found with the embossing pen, just getting good coverage is really all you're looking for. And I know you can't see it, but uh, I'm going over a couple of the pieces here or the places that I, I want to make sure I have the, the design in place. And I was working relatively quickly so that it didn't dry. And I'm going to take the embossing powder and just sprinkle it right on. And you'll see here, no problem with that. And we'll just go ahead and put that away and go ahead and heat set this embossing powder. I took out some of the video so you didn't have to watch some of the time used to do this so that it would be a quick lunch break video or something that you could just look at and maybe gain some inspiration on some of your own pieces. So I'm just setting it and you can see it burned a little bit more of the muslin. And I really actually like that. So what I found is if you wet the fabric a little bit before adding your watercolors, it takes the watercolor a lot better. Otherwise it's more of a painted effect. So I'm just wetting a piece of this fabric here. And I'm going to use a some of the reds, a little bit of the smoky gray, and um, work my way. That's the color palette that I really want to use for this particular ribbon. Uh, another color I think I'll use is I'll use some purples and pinks and do a variation of this darker theme. So here's the smoky gray. 
and we'll just, and whoops, did not mean to put my brush in the wrong color. So we'll go back and do the smoky gray. And I'm just going to tap this smoky gray onto the fabric just to give it a little bit of pop of color here. And the watercolor really spreads nicely if your fabric is wet. And I'm just coloring in the transition from the prior work into this one. So here I'm going to add a little bit of the redwood color. And I really like this red effect here. And it obviously will dry much lighter than it is now. So don't be afraid to put on your watercolor. And the idea is that I will outline the hat. So if you feel like it's getting lost in your color, that's okay. You can either use a different embossing powder to make a darker color or just outline it with the black Sharpie. So I'm just going through and adding some different red tones here. And to speed it up, you could just let this dry, but I'm going to use the heat tool to dry this fabric so that I can outline it fairly quickly and show you what that looks like. Okay, so it's starting to feel fairly dry. We'll just finish it up here. And we'll move on to outlining this piece. It feels fairly dry, so I think it's ready. Go ahead and move our stuff over here. And then I'm just using a basic Sharpie. You can use any permanent ink pen. And what I like to do with the Sharpie is I'm going around the image. And since the sorting hat has a number of wrinkles, I'll just add a little bit more dimension and go into the image and over the embossing powder to do that. And you don't need to take your time um, quite like I did here, but I was working my way around this hat and thinking about the shadows and some of the wrinkles that would be created. So it took me a little bit longer to play around with this one. But as you can see, not very long to have a unique effect and a piece of ribbon that can be used in your journal or ephemera fairly quickly. Not ephemera, embellishment. And that is the end of the project. Thank you so much for watching.